Steve. I have a question for both you and Leaving this recorded program for live coverage, Why, you know, the markup of health care legislation is continuing. Members of the House Energy and Commerce Committee took a break so that Democrats could meet to work out the schedule for tonight. But they're back now. You see them on the screen talking. Those are some of the Republicans, the ranking member, Joe Barton. And next to him, you'll see, as, as some of these people move, the chairman of the committee, Henry Waxman. You're watching live coverage on C-SPAN 2. We have um, a, a number of amendments at the desk that members were seeking to offer to the bill. They are not essential bills, essential amendments to the legislation. The major amendments have already been disposed of, but they are amendments that are important to the people who wish to offer them. We have 55 to 60. And if we go through and try to process all those amendments tonight, we'll be here quite late. <laughs> so we're um, going to have a, an, a, a unanimous consent agreement that after we report the bill tonight, Assuming we report the deal, yeah, bill tonight. That's if, that's if we report the bill tonight. Yes. We still have to vote on it, Mr. Chairman. After the bill is reported and voted on successfully, then, <laughs> then we will uh, come back in September and we will bring up 
another bill which will reflect the amendments that uh, we agreed to, and then amendments can be offered to that that are uh, that, uh, but only those that are at the desk and that will be on the list prepared by the Democratic and Republican staff. So we're not in the business for new amendments to come into our hands in August because they will not be permitted. We will only be considering the amendments on the list with the caveat that if Mr. Barton and I both agree to add additional amendments, we'll go ahead with those additional amendments, but we both have to agree. Re reserving the right to object. Uh, yes, Mr. Boyer. You and I have agreed to work on numerous amendments with regard to guard and reserve in the VA. If we're able to work those out, would I reserve the right to offer those at that later mark? I believe so. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I withdraw my objections. Uh, Mr. Barton, I want to see if you uh, what you're feeling. I agree with that, Mr. Chairman. We've had a, um, a long markup. I won't say it's been productive, but it's been interesting. Um, but having said that, the majority has worked its will in a, in a wondrous way from a technical standpoint. And uh, the hour is late. Uh, I agree that the amendments that your members have posted uh, uh, in the in block request that I did not agree to and the amendments that we posted in our in block request that you did not agree to, plus any other amendments that you and I agree between now and then should be offered. Um, I'm very willing to have that markup in September and have it on an expedited basis um, because I think that frees members to, to go on their August work period and also gives you an opportunity to report the bill if you have the votes to do so tonight, which is something you've worked very hard to do. These other amendments can be then sent to the Rules Committee to be added to the legislation. And of course, if we're not able to do another bill for whatever reason, the uh, authors of the amendments will be able to go to the Rules Committee or we could try to package some together for an amendment that we would offer at the Rules Committee on the pending legislation. What I'm, but, what I'm agreeing to, Mr. Chairman, is that members on your side especially, because there's so many additional amendments, they have gone through the process, they had posted, they were ready to offer them, they will be given an opportunity in September to have those amendments considered by the committee in an expedited fashion. That's, we're not trying to game anybody here. Then we will proceed on that basis unless there's objection. Hearing no objection, that will be the order. Let me uh, make a couple of acknowledgments. I want to acknowledge the man who has worked so hard on this legislation to get everybody in America affordable, good quality health care for over 53 years following the efforts of his father who preceded him in the Congress of the United States. The main author of the bill is John Dingell, and I think we all ought to pay tribute to him. Secondly, I want to thank the staff that's put in so many hours, hours, unbelievable amount of time working so diligently on this legislation. And I don't want to start naming names because I'll make a mistake, but there is one person I want to sing, single out, uh, uh, and that is our staff director for health, Karen Nelson. I'm going to uh, recognize Mr. Mr. Barton in a second, but I also want to, uh, well, I'll recognize you now, and then I'm, I'm going to have some other. Well, you've, you've put me on the spot, Mr. Chairman, and it's supposed to be my job to put you on the spot. Um, <laughs> but if we're going to acknowledge staffs, we have to acknowledge the minority staff. Uh, we work just as hard. We're kind of like Ginger Rogers. We just have to do it backwards in high heels <laughs> because we're, uh, we're so short 
uh, short-handed here, but uh, our, uh, our staff director, Mr. David Kovic, and our health uh, councils, Brandon and and um, uh, Ryan Long, uh, they have worked just as long and hard, and all the other minority staff. So we should give them a round of applause. Too. We actually won a few amendments. <laughs> Mr. Chairman. I'd be uh, remiss if I didn't also pay tribute to our brilliant uh, staff director who's done such a wonderful job, Phil Barnett. And if we didn't have the House Legislative Council, Jessica Shapiro, Megan Renfrew, Warren Burke, Ed Grossman, and another dozen attorneys helping all members, majority and minority, we, wouldn't, uh, we would be in brackets nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you all as well. Who sought the... No. I guess I should thank the House Parliamentarian because... <laughs> he did rule our way one time. So. Mr. Chairman? Yes, Mr. Kowski. On behalf of all the members, I think we also owe a great deal of thanks to our own staff who worked up many hours as well and want to okay. thank them. Having completed the amendments, Mr. Chairman. Yes, Mr. Markey. Um, there's been one omission in terms of people who should be thanked uh, for uh, completing an historic piece of legislation in this committee. The first time it has ever happened in this committee, and the first time it has ever head, headed to the floor of the House of Representatives. And that, sir, is you. Your, your historic uh, leadership has brought us to this point, and we all I um, want to thank you for giving us this great opportunity to participate in history with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Procedurally, we have before us the, the bill as amended, uh, the, the manager's amendment as amended. All those in favor of the manager's amendment as amended will say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. no. The ayes have it. The uh, vote now comes on the... Mr. Dingle, do you have the, the motion? Uh, I have a motion I'd like to make, Mr. Chairman, and that is that the bill be reported by the committee with the usual instructions. And if I can be recognized just briefly in support of that motion, I would be uh, very appreciative. Gentlemen's recognized. Um, Mr. Chairman, first of all, congratulations. You've done a superb job, and you have every right to be proud, and we have every right to be proud of you and what you have done. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm sure everybody in this room is, is, joins me in those good feelings. To my colleagues on both sides of the aisle, congratulations and thank you. And to the staff on both sides of the aisle and to our personal staff also, thank you and congratulations. They've worked very hard. And as somebody down there in the, from the Legislative Council, they have a particular word of thanks coming. And they're one of the things that has made this body able to always outshine our dear friends in the Senate. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we, the members, and, and, and our other staff participate very valuably in that. So it's a great bill, Mr. Chairman, and I move that it be reported with the usual instructions and, and uh, I thank you again for the fine work and the fine leadership you've given us. Mr. Dingle, 
I know we're going to have a roll call vote, so the clerk will call the roll. This is on reporting the bill as amended. Mr. Waxman. Aye. Mr. Waxman votes aye. Mr. Dingle. <clears throat> Mr. Dingle, aye. Mr. Markey. Aye. Mr. Markey, aye. Mr. Boucher. Mr. Pallone. Mr. Pallone, aye. Mr. Gordon. Mr. Gordon, aye. Mr. Rush. Aye. Mr. Rush, aye. Ms. Eshoo. Aye. Ms. Eshoo votes aye. Mr. Stupak. Mr. Stupak, no. Mr. Engel. Aye. Mr. Engel, aye. Mr. Green. Aye. Mr. Green, aye. Ms. Deget. Ms. Deget, aye. Mrs. Capps. Mrs. Capps, aye. Mr. Doyle. Mr. Doyle, aye. Ms. Harmon. Ms. Harmon, aye. Ms. Chikowsky. Ms. Chikowsky, aye. Mr. Gonzalez. Mr. Gonzalez, aye. Mr. Inslee. Mr. Inslee, aye. Ms. Baldwin. Ms. Baldwin, aye. Mr. Ross. Mr. Ross, aye. Mr. Weiner, Mr. Weiner, aye. Mr. Matheson, Mr. Matheson, no. Mr. Butterfield, Mr. Butterfield, aye. Mr. Melanson, Mr. Melanson, no. Mr. Barrow, Mr. Barrow, no. Mr. Hill, Mr. Hill, aye. Ms. Matsui. Ms. Matsui, aye. Mrs. Christensen. Mrs. Christensen, aye. Ms. Castor. Ms. Castor, aye. Mr. Sarbanes. Mr. Sarbanes, aye. Mr. Murphy of Connecticut. Mr. Murphy, aye. Mr. Space. Mr. Space, aye. Mr. McNerney. Aye. Mr. McNerney, aye. Ms. Sutton. Ms. Sutton, aye. Mr. Braley, Ms. Braley, aye. Mr. Welch, Mr. Welch, aye. Mr. Barton, Mr. Barton, no. Mr. Hall, Mr. Hall, no. Mr. Upton, Mr. Upton, no. Mr. Stern, Mr. Stearns, no. Mr. Deal. Mr. Deal, no. Mr. Whitfield, Mr. Whitfield, no. Mr. Shimkus, Mr. Shimkus, no. Mr. Shattuck, Mr. Shattuck, no. Mr. Blunt, Mr. Blunt, no. Mr. Boyer, Mr. Boyer, no. Mr. Radonovich, Mr. Radonovich, no. Mr. Pitts, Mr. Pitts, no. Ms. Bono Mac, Ms. Bono Mac, no. Mr. Walden, no. Mr. Walden, no. Mr. Terry, no. Mr. Terry, no. Mr. Rogers, no. Mr. Rogers, no. Mrs. Myrick, Mrs. Myrick, no. Mr. Sullivan, no. Mr. Sullivan, no. Mr. Murphy of Pennsylvania, no. Mr. Murphy, no. Mr. Burgess, no. Mr. Burgess, no. Ms. Blackburn, Ms. Blackburn, no. Mr. Gingry. Mr. Gingry, no. Mr. Scalise, Mr. Scalise, no. Mr. Boucher, Mr. Boucher, no. Have all members responded to the call of the roll? Any member wish to change his or her vote? Clerk will tally the vote. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Mr. Chairman, on that vote, final passage, the ayes were 31, the nays were 28. 31, 28, the bill is approved. Committee. But I'm, 
Mr. Chairman, that um, Mr. Barton. Mr. Chairman, I ask uh, that we have the usual number of days for uh, people to put statements in the record and for the minority to review the report uh, and offer their views. Without objection, that will be the order. Congratulations. And we will uh, have technical inf and conforming changes as well without objection. That completes our business and we stand adjourned. 909A. This health care markup wrapping up, members of the House Energy and Commerce Committee leaving for the August recess after approving the health care bill by a vote of 31 to 28. This is one of five congressional committees that has jurisdiction over health care reform. The only other congressional committee that has not yet taken up their version of the health care markup is the Senate Finance Committee. And Chairman Baucus has announced that his committee will not do that until September. A reminder that you can read the committee's amendments and track how they voted at our website, cspan.org. 
It's in the featured links section. This week, as expected, the Senate Judiciary Committee voted to recommend the confirmation of Sonia Sotomayor as Supreme Court Justice. Watch the committee debate and...